So if this is not a piece of naive propaganda, is it a morale booster at the end of the war? I think that's a fair description, but I don't think that is, uh, by any manner of means, it, it, the, the full scope of what it was intending to do. Um, I, I, I think it was an intelligent man's appraisal of how we emerged from the war and that, uh, that, that we had to think before the war's end how we were going to approach the coming peace and hence the references uh, to the disastrous uh, post-war years after the First World War when uh, the, the slogan was a land fit for heroes and very, very many people came back to year after year of unemployment. Uh, and and uh, this was a, a, a subject which uh, the cabinet had taken very seriously, that uh, the, the, uh, the aftermath of the Second World War would not repeat the mistakes that had been made uh, in 1919 and 1920. Uh, so uh, it, it, it was a, a topic of very serious concern for Churchill's government, uh, but one I think that they had, uh, and the, the, I think the evidence suggests that they had tackled it successfully, uh, but it was very much present in people's minds, uh, and, and that uh, anybody with a social conscience was saying, how can we make sure that uh, this time it is genuinely a, a land to which uh, people who've given six years of their lives to serving uh, can return to uh, prosperity and, and uh, a satisfactory way of living. Uh, and I think that is a reasonable thing for the Crown Film Unit to do because it, it was a matter of public concern and I think I would say that it discharged its duties uh, extremely well because it did indicate uh, the lasting beauties of the English landscape, uh, the, uh, the artistic life that um, had been sustained during the war and would presumably blossom once peace was restored. So uh, it was taking an optimistic view. It was not breastfeeding, but it was at least a serious consideration. And uh, I think that that was very much regarded as what the, one of the Crown Film Unit's responsibilities. Did Jennings have an opportunity to comment on whether Timothy's life came out as he had hoped it would do? That's a very good question. I have, because of course next year will be Timothy James Jenkins' 70th birthday and I have not seen any suggestion that they might make uh, a film in which they look back over it and it seems to me an opportunity that should not be allowed to go uh, unanswered.